Do a bit of a tidy up, baby. Just leave that there. Look, people are watching us. That out. Leave me. I can't leave you, baby. Let's have a little update, Vid. Right, here we are. As you probably see, we haven't been doing a lot of videos recently. Now, this is holiday time here in the UK, around August time, July and August, and um, we don't actually go away anywhere. So what we do is spend a lot of our time with the family, going out to places and stuff like that. Plus it's been Sharon's birthday. Uh, we've been looking after the grandchildren as well. So we've been doing lots of that sort of family stuff and I've not really been recording that and I've not been doing any work on the vehicles. A lot of things have been happening behind the scenes, so to speak. We've got some uh, big plans that are going to be taking place in about a month's time. And um, I can't let you into that little secret yet, but um, keep tuned to the channel. As I say, it involves doing more work on, on vehicles and stuff like that. But I've also been having my computer issues still. You probably remember that... Um, my old PC gave up, and I'd done a, an update vlog about getting a new PC and all that. And I couldn't get the printer working, I couldn't get my scanner working. There was a problem where I lost all my editing software on the video I'd done a couple of weeks ago, or last week I think it was. Uh, I lost all my footage because the, 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 the new PC wasn't able to open up uh, JPEG images as well, so I'd done a time lapse of some uh, footage, and the, it, was, it was just coming up black on the screen. Now, I'm pretty compl computer savvy when it comes to sorting stuff out i've got a pretty logical mind and i do know how to go through procedures to to sort of get things up and running again by using common sense as part and parcel of my one of my skills that i have but i could not for the life of me get the drivers to be recognized for my printer uh, nor the scanner there was something happening something was wrong and as i said then i had the problem with that it wouldn't open up jpegs anyway i got to the stage where i knew that I'd have to sort of get something done about it. I was someone on the, to talk to. I needed someone to talk to, baby. You always do. Because I'm normally where the buck stops. If anything goes oh, wrong, yeah. if anything goes wrong in this house or something goes wrong Dead with Dead ends now. Dead ends. Sharon's computer or whatever, anything, any, well, anything basically, it comes down on me to repair, whether it be a blinking, a toilet seat or a... a, a uh, I do the odd job because I get fed up waiting I'm not for saying you. that, baby. Look, tell Don't them. Don't make me out to be useless. I'm talking to the people. It's not about you, baby. No, you're making out you do everything. Tell them, not me. You're... He doesn't do everything. I do most, most stuff. Things, most I do things. all the technical stuff. I'm not stupid. I do all the technical stuff. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, right, OK. Let me let me carry on before you, you interjected. I can't keep talking to my daughter. So, I'd had enough with the computer for the moment because it was a brand new computer. It wasn't the best one. When I got a new computer, I just went on eBay. A little lesson to tell you about all this lot as well afterwards. Why not, Jimmy? Jimmy, be careful. If you're going to come around, go around the other side. Oh, when he ends. Jimmy's just come out by the camera. You can't see him. Anyway, you don't want to see him now. You've seen the ghost while your hair stands in the Bison, legs. away. Bison, away. He was going to knock the thing, Sharon. Shout him up The camera's Look, there, baby. Gob got there, ear there. Listen, can I carry on telling the story, please? Decibels. Hey. Decibels, you're... Uh, shouting on camera, you fucked me up. <laughs> I'm shouting on camera. I'm shouting at your mother because she's not letting me finish my story. Shouting at me, you heard that. No, I'm raising my voice, Sharon. No, you shout. Right, OK, can I carry on, please? I'll ask you for the second time. Right. You want to? So, I'd had enough of the computer. Plus, it's holiday time. That's why we've not had the videos going out. As I say, we just enjoy more family time. But with the computer, I'd given up on it. I bought this... I went to eBay and I just thought... I need a, a computer that's going to be able to do me video editing. And rather than spend top dollar on an i9 processor or whatever it is, I thought, well, look, there's a games computers on there, pretty, supposed to be pretty good, like gaming PCs or whatever. So I bought one of them. I didn't pay a lot of money for it. I think I paid about 350 quid, something like that. Anyway, it had Windows 7 Professional on it, which was, I had Windows 7 before. And cut a long story short, there wasn't something quite right. I clicked on the, uh, the the graphics card, for example, because it's got one of these flashy-looking, well, as far as I thought, flashy graphics card or whatever. It was an a, a Radeon A... What was it? A Radeon R7 or something. 
uh, graphics card, not crap, well, graph, graphics thing or whatever. Anyway, but that was saying the software wasn't installed. So I'm pretty savvy. I went onto the Radian Soft uh, website, downloaded the new driver or the most updated driver. It wouldn't install. Then I emailed the bloke who I bought the PC off, and he said, we installed it and tested it and everything was fine. So anyway, that was that. So then I couldn't get the printer to go, as you know. Then I couldn't get my scanner to go, and then I was having problems with the JPEG. So cut a long story short, subscribers are a marvellous thing, right? I got a subscriber, Brian, uh, Britek, if you want to check out his channel. I urge you to check out his channel. Wait there, hold on. Yeah, I've just pulled it up there, just a double double check. I'm going to get this right. I'll leave a little uh, a link to his channel in the description as well. But that's his name there, as you can probably see down there. Uh, it's Brian, it's, his name's Brian, it's Brytek, but you could say it Britek. Britek 0909, all one word. He left a message in one of my videos, please, so to speak, that, uh, you know, he said he's, he's pretty savvy and that India don't mind giving me a hand or whatever. So anyway, anyway, I eventually got in contact with him and we arranged to have a, a, a phone call in the evening and I think it was about half past five, I think, in the evening where uh, he phoned me up and he said he can take remote control of my PC and have a look at it. But one thing I will say that you got to trust the person who's taking control of your PC. I trusted Brian. I recognised straight away that he was a sort of character very similar to me, and you gain us trust. In the past, I'll just give you a bit of insight into stuff I've done in the past. When I was doing uh, loads and loads of or learning internet marketing, all the gurus backed. Uh, 12, 13 years ago were saying, oh yeah, you can get outsourcers to do your work, to design this and that for you, uh, from India and get them very cheap, that's how they get all their stuff, and design your websites if you didn't know about websites and stuff like that. Well, I had um, uh, a website design from someone in India, I went onto a, re a website called Elance, or Rent-A-Coder, which was very big back then, back in sort of a decade ago, for getting stuff done for you on the cheap. And basically what you have to do, you have to give your hosting account details to these total strangers, basically. But they would design your website, create anything you wanted for literally pennies. Because obviously the money is in India worth a lot more to them than it is to someone like in America or Europe or Canada or Great Britain or whatever. We charge a lot more money. But what happened was I employed someone to build me a website and set it up as I wanted it. Very, very cheaply from India or one of the uh, Far Eastern countries, I can't remember. But what they'd also probably done, because you have to give them access to your account, and I know when you give them access to your account, you've got to give them your password, you've got to give them your, your username to your hosting account, for example. And what I did was do that, but months down the line, suddenly, my thing was full of viruses. It's like something that switched on and activated, because obviously when, they, when they've done the work, you get your account back, obviously, and then the first thing you do is change your password so that they can't gain access. But they, they must have put some sort of script in Whereas it was time sensitive or time activated, so somewhere down the line, it buggered up and all things went wrong with the website. So you, you would have to go back to them and obviously get more money. That's the sort of things that do go on. That's another story, by the way. So anyway, so what I'm saying to you is, so Brian was gonna take access to my PC, which he did do, and from about half past five in the, in the evening to about half past eight, quarter to nine, he took him, now this is to say, I'm pretty switched on, but it took someone who knows what they're doing and Brian's got some, something like 140,000 subscribers. He runs a forum. He, uh, he, he does online tutorial videos about how to sort your computer out if you've got problems. He's got nearly 1,000 videos on these things. So he knows his stuff. And it took him about three to three and a half hours to sort out, to get the printer working, to get my scanner working. And also, that, he, got, he got that working pretty quick. But the problem come with regards to the graphics card and the problem I was having opening up JPEGs on, on my computer. To the extent where he said, well, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'm gonna make a few, do a few more investigations on this now. He said, go, go away, Bison. Stop going between the camera. He said, I'm gonna make a few more investigations. He said, uh, I'll phone, or I'll, I'll, we, we Skyped again the next day, which was yesterday, uh, about 11 o'clock. And he spent another two hours but he'd solved, he got the problem solved. Basically what had happened was, the, uh, the Radian thing, uh, card, the, the graphics card or whatever, that I was trying to download, or he tried to download the software, it wasn't installing it at all, it wouldn't install it. There were certain things that were failing. Mind that door? I know. Jimmy? Cut a long story short, 
he got over the problem, but he also, when he said to me the next day, well, well like yesterday when he phoned, uh, when we phoned, uh, spoke to each other again on Skype, he said that he'd been on to someone in America, he spoke to his friends in America, he'd been on a few forums, and apparently this graphic, graphic setup, which I've got in this PC, is a low-end system, and it is renowned for giving problems, and in certain forums which he visits and stuff, people haven't got over the problem. But this is how good this guy is, he got over the problem. He sorted the problem out. He's now got that information where so many other people have failed. So that's why I'm saying to you, after speaking with him for many hours, like yesterday and the day before, Brian is one of your only, someone you can trust, or Brian Tech, oh no, he's only Brian. Fantastic chat. If you've ever got an issue, this bloke solves stuff, right? And also, if you visit his channel and subscribe to his channel, there's a lot of stuff going about the internet at the moment with regards to things called ransomware and stuff like that. In other words, you're getting stuff sent down in emails. If you open the email and there's an attachment, if you open the email attachment, what it does, it inputs a virus on your computer where it encrypts everything, so you can't see anything. And then a message comes up and says something like, you have 10 day, or no, you have 48 hours to pay me 500 pounds so that I will give you the code so that you can see everything on your computer again. If not, you've lost everything on your computer. And that's what this ransomware is. And it's just being aware of this sort of stuff. He's up on his game, and do yourself a favour, even if you think you know a bit about computers, like I did, subscribe to Brian's channel. I urge you to do that, and just look at some of his videos. He's got, I say he's got about 900 videos on there. And any issues or problems you've got, you can go to his forum as well, leave a message on his forum and stuff like that. It will be one of the best things you've ever done. If you've got any compatibility issues with software and stuff like that, absolutely fantastic. Brian, you saved my life, and you saved me a lot of headaches, because I nearly tried to get Sharon to do it. And you're not interested, baby, are you? And you know that I'm the one who has to sort this out, don't you? And what happens when I can't sort something out? You get mardy. I get mardy. <laughs> Unbelievable. But you do. You go all stroppy. Yeah, but don't forget, Sharon, I only get stroppy after I've been there for about four, three or four or five hours, even up to eight hours. Do you know, ago. his voice even gets louder than that. No wonder I've gone deaf. Anyway, so that's that. that the PC issue's now out the way, okay? I'm not doing that. Oh, that's another thing, is we're in comments. I was talking, I was talking to Brian about comments, because you get. We have to spend so much time. The more people you get on your channel and subscribers or whatever, and other stuff, we get. You get so many emails coming through. You get so many questions and comments to answer. A lot of people don't bother. And as I was talking to Brian, he said that you know we like to give feedback and you like to make a contact with your, your, your reg, definitely your regular subscribers and stuff like that, and keep the uh, the conversations going back and forth. Because at the end of the day, no one likes to leave a comment when you ask them a question. You don't get a blink reply. Well, I always try to do that. I always try to leave a reply. Well, one bloke yesterday, or the day, I think it was the day before yesterday, it was about three o'clock in the morning he left the comment, and he said, uh, I don't know how long he was a subscriber, he wasn't a regular one or whatever, and he said, uh, when are you going to get back to doing car stuff and doing other stuff, he said. That's what I'm here for. All you seem to be doing at the moment is trying to sell T-shirts. I've had two T-shirt draw videos, which I'm giving something away for free. Not buying it, not selling, but giving away for free. That's the last two videos I've done. He said, if you don't do any more stuff soon, I'm going to unsubscribe. Oh, boo-hoo, put your airbag up there. So sorry. I, you get comments like that. Why would you even make a comment like that? I would never put down, if you don't do what I want to see, I'm going to unsubscribe. I just blocked him. Get rid of him. Out of the way. Gone. You get idiots like that. I just had someone else on my other channel... Uh, me, me t-shirt and printing mug printing channel someone just said can you tell me how much you earn a month <laughs> this is, this I, is hate a total I hate that laugh I hate that that's that laugh do you I know, know when I said you there's a laugh yeah, well, that's, a, that's, a, that's the one I, I asked I, 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 <laughs> that little laugh Sharon always comes oh, when me. someone asks me a rhetorical question in other words a question that don't really need an answer and do they really expect an answer do they think I'm going to the only person I said to him I just sent a message back on there the only person who knows that private business is my accountant and her. And those are the only two people. Only because I do the books. Only because she does the books. <laughs> and, listen, they're the only two people who need to know that. I know a lot of people, they see, like, videos or whatever. One of the greatest things I always said before is that you get all these internet marketers on the front, because I used to follow a load of these mm. way back, all oh, 12, 13, 14 years ago, when I was trying to break free of the rat race, and I bought all the rubbish about getting rich, rich quick and all that, and to prove you... 
uh, what they would do to you, these internet marketers, would be, oh, they'll show you their private bank account. And you, you can see it. Oh, they're earning thousands of pounds a week or whatever. This is all to make you buy their stuff because they want to sell you a product for £49.95 initially, and then they want to sell you a higher price for thousands of pounds, a back-end teaching product, so that you can try and aspire to get what they're getting. That's all rubbish. So when you get a person come to you and say, how much do you earn? What she's doing now is typing on her keyboard. They're called keyboard warriors. They can only ask you things. Even a You'd never go up to a total stranger in the street and say... Oh, a mother talking to a daughter. That's what I'm doing at the moment. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, and I've just actually said, he's having a rent. Is it a rent? Yeah. <laughs> And she's replied, bloody hell, what's about now? Anyway, so and yeah. And I've replied, not really listening. So, <laughs> you're not listening. I'm talking to them, talking yeah. to you, baby. She's on Facebook again. That's, that's, that's where you get most of them, on Facebook. These keep, they will ask you stuff, or they will tell you My stuff. My daughter. They will tell you stuff, which they would never say to your face. And that's the problem with all this texting lark and all that. I'll have to put this down as a rant, this video, won't I? Shall yeah. I don't know what the sound's like, by the way, ladies, ladies and gents, because uh, I'm on our big camcorder this time. It's not the GoPro, and I'm using the um, the boom mic, which is the 48 Phantom Power one. So I wanted to do that because I wanted to hear what she's got to say sometimes. And <coughs> oh, pardon me. <sighs> so rude. When I've got the um, when I've got the um, little la 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 lavalier mic on or the lapel mic. You can't always hear what you say. Move forward, Dad. And the good thing about this camera as well... Come yeah. forward, I want to see you. The, the dog's there. Just move forward an inch, Look baby. With the GoPro, you can't see, but I've just spun the camera around, the uh, the lens on the camera, not the lens, the, the little screen, and I can see everything, so I know we're all in shot. Well, I can see you're in shot now, baby. Say hello to them. Look. Hello. <laughs> Unbelievable. And she says she doesn't like being on the camera. I don't. She doesn't like... I but, sat here first, and then that thing comes out. Yeah, I know. But... One of the greatest videos I think we've done recently, which we're going to do more of in the in the near future. I don't want to. Please vote for me not to be in the videos. Our Retro Hacks channel. Some Please of you have, all, place your have votes obviously seen that. Now. And if you're not, go over to Retro Hacks and look at our little tray. If you're not, a, uh, if you haven't subscribed to it yet, go over to Retro Hacks and have a look at our trailer, our temporary trailer, like a little volunteer trailer. And it's me and her doing a little intro, only practicing. But I thought I'd put it up there, and people love it. Because it's natural, it's and that's what that's what Brian was saying as well yesterday. You come across as a normal person. Nothing scripted. It, it happens as it happens. And what was the other thing I had? I had a lot of um, comments once about. What was he saying? Brian was saying something about. Can I just interrupt? Say it's Olivia's fate day today. Our dog's allowed over there. I don't so I'm just, know. just no, asking. I wouldn't have chat. It's not for us to answer, love. That you're the wrong person to ask. Well, it's one of the jazzer size girls. Well, it doesn't mean anything to me, Sharon, does it? Well, I was going to be doing it, but Look, because you've made I'm not me well. chow, I've lost my thread again. What was I talking about? No, it's gone. Aren't you pleased? As we get older, the more we forget stuff. Even stuff we've just been talking about. It's all right, I know what you're going to do. You're going to say, oh yeah, you was just talking about so-and-so. I can't remember that right now. And I can't replay this to, to see what I was doing. Anyway, I'm going to move on again. See, that's why I need, I need some sort of script in my head, and I need that. But sometimes, when I put Sharon in the videos, she throws me. Because she goes off at a tangent. I'm, I, when I, this happened the other day, and it happens quite a lot when we're in the car. I'm driving along, and sometimes something happens, and I, rant, I start ranting about the way things are or whatever. And I think she, I'm thinking she's listening. She's looking out of the window, and I've been going for about 15 to 20 minutes chatting non-stop, and I, I want, I want, rec I want confirmation off of her that she's been taking in what I'm saying. Right? Listen to this. You know what she'll say? Oh, look at that dog over there. Look at that dog over there. Of course, what do I get the hump with that? Don't I? Because he just you... goes on and on. And sometimes you just want a quiet car journey. He's usually ranting about things that don't really involve us. Sharon. I don't really care. I don't. I don't rant about stuff oh, that don't do, involve us. You do. You do involve rant about anything I can't even give you an example now. everything's wrong Sharon there you go life is wrong you know, I'm happy in my bubble I was just about to say bubble that's a good word I like that yeah. I'm happy it's all running smoothly yeah. everything's all yeah, right yeah but who, run, who makes it run smoothly my families are all alright both sides 
Down that road. Do you know why? Road, up them do you, stairs. Do you know why? Because that's how we want our life. How we want our life to run smoothly. Oh, so it's organised chaos, basically, yeah? This is our life. And as I say, this is why I've not been yeah, out... But whose life really isn't chaos? Listen, no, organised chaos. It's organised the way we want it. Someone said, just sent me a message. Look, when that, that bloke that said, how much do I earn a month? I said, well, I made happen what I want to happen. All you, all you need to know is that she knows, the accountant knows, and we, own, we, don't, we, don't own, we don't own a mortgage anymore, which we haven't done for 11 years, since we've been working from home. And what was the other thing I said to him? You have to make that happen. And that's all I said to him. So there you go. I sent him a message. It's on, it's on my other channel. I can't remember what video it was on, actually. But, uh... See? See now. <laughs> Sharon, I'm nearly 53, baby. I know that. Yeah? You need just the volume control. That's what I might find for your birthday. She, she said to me the to other day, why down. do you keep... When, when you talk, you talk very loud. It hurts listen. your ears. Listen. I'm sure my ears Listen, bleed. you're doing it again. This is why I have to raise my voice. You don't listen. The reason why I have to raise my voice, or the reason why I find myself raising my voice, I can feel myself going now, is that when I try to educate her, or any of my children, or anyone in my oh, oh, in my circle, go. I tell them stuff, and it don't sink in. And then I find out that a few weeks, months, whatever, days later, they've not listened to what I've said. So when I have to repeat myself for their benefit, not for my benefit, We've I find out my voice goes up a little bit to emphasise the point. And I will also repeat myself. And that's when I get told that you're going on, you've said that before, you're saying the same thing over and over again. Only to the people who I care about. Look, so you've said, yeah, look what she's doing now, look. <laughs> look, yeah? I can do this today. What? Walk, no! walk away. She's gone. <laughs> she's left the situation. Yeah, She's laughing her head off over there. And this is what she does. She's the only one who can wind me up. Anyone else who tries to wind me up on oh, YouTube, I just block them. Don't even tolerate. I've got zero tolerance. My channel's about being happy at the end of the day. So when I see someone I say, if you don't do what I want you to do, I'm, I'm, I'm going to unsubscribe. Oh, tell her. Off you go, mate. You ain't got to watch this. And like the old haters, that's what we was talking about the other day with, with Brian. You get the old haters. Now, I think I may know who it is, but that's another story. But, uh, yeah. they. I've had people, when I put a video up, Let's say I've put a 15, 20 minute video up, for example, and I've checked it straight away. Within about two or three minutes, I've got the thumbs down. It's only one or two or the other one I'll get. But, so, for that to happen, it's obviously a subscriber. Because they, you know, if, you're, if you subscribe to someone's channel, you get to see what, when they post a video, if you're online, you get an email sent to you, or you get a little, uh, red box come up saying you've got a new video to watch or whatever and then they don't even watch the video they just put the thumbs down straight away why do people do that i don't do that if i've got something constructive to say and one thing i do like and i mentioned that in a few of my other videos especially the transit videos i think i'm not an expert in, in anything i do i was an expert in my trade as an electrician i was an electrician for many years i'm out of it now all the rules and regulations have changed with regards to codes of practice and stuff like that I don't get involved in that anymore. I no longer call myself an electrician, and I haven't done for years and years. The things we do, we do T-shirt printing from home, we do mug printing from home. I've been in the uh, mechanic uh, genre for many, many years, since the age of about 14 years old. I've done private uh, work for ourselves privately, body work stuff and all that on cars and vehicles. I've restored motorcycles. I've restored many things. I've done decorating. I've done so many things, all the stuff which an average person should or could do. What's that? I'm busy working, don't worry. Oh, sorry. I've done that. She's back mind again, it, see? Mind it, She can't resist it. And sometimes you get some silly little comments that come up. But make something constructive, and bearing in mind that if you see someone who's got, like, hundreds of videos on their channel, and they've obviously done loads of things in their life, and they've done one thing one way and, not, <coughs> and, and doing things another way, and could have done it another way, a better way, I've got no problem with that. But when they come up and say, why did you use red paint instead of black paint for the undercoat? Grey. People say the strangest things when they're keyboard fighting. And Facebook's one of the worst places for that. I've seen so many arguments start up on Facebook, Sharon, haven't you? I love it. And they love it, and they put the word LOL after. They've made a snidey comment to someone, and they've put the word LOL after it, trying to lighten it up. But really, what they mean is they got the up with you. Anyway, I'm going to go. I've been rambling for quite a long time now, Sharon. 
all I'll say is, within the, about the next month, we're going to be doing something which is a little bit different on the channel, this channel, Retro Restore channel. Oi, shush, Bison. Bison. And okay. it's some big changes that are going to be happening, and we'll be they taking the camera along, you. and you'll be seeing uh, some of that take place as well. Again, it's something new for us, and just watch this space, and I'll try and get the odd video out and do stuff, because I've, I've, I've literally not been doing anything. And that's the reason for this sort of know it. possible rant video. We've been enjoying our holiday time. I'm quite entitled to have a bit of holiday time. It's not that I've dropped, forgotten about the videos. It's that I've stopped doing everything. And it's hard to film nothing at the end of the day. And you know, you don't really want to see us doing family stuff and all that uh, uh, on the, uh, every day or whatever. As I say, I've already had that one person and he's blocked now because he was supposed to be a subscriber and he's threatened me with unsubscribing if I didn't start doing the stuff. Hamburg. Exactly, yeah. I don't need that rubbish. No. We don't need that rubbish. We've got loads of stuff going on in our life, which is family stuff, which is what we chose, and it's the pathway what we chose. Anyway, Jeff, uh, Jeff Woods. Uh, I thought his name was Brian. No, the other Jeff, who won the T-shirt. Oh. He's got, it's on its way to Canada. Yeah, Jeff. Canada. And uh, enjoy that. Uh, 14 know, days and it's kind of is it 14 I think days it's something like that something ridiculous yeah so it's a long way to Tipperary Jeff it's not going to Tipperary no I know Tipperary is in Ireland isn't yeah. it yeah alright so we're going to shoot off now and because we're going out very shortly to our granddaughter's fun day which has been created for she's not very well little Olivia she's not been well from birth and um, they've got a, a, a local uh, uh, fun day going on for her to um extension on the house so yeah they're, they're trying to raise funds for an extension and all that for a special bedroom to because her bedroom at the moment is the living room and it's got a big sort of bed in it hospital bed and hospital it? bed and stuff like that so they're trying to get an extension built in that's another story for another time anyway thanks very much hope you enjoyed this video and if you didn't don't unsubscribe or don't tell me that just do it if you want this is our videos this is our channel we're an upbeat channel happy channel Nine times out of ten. Oh, somebody wants and, to tell him. Hey, tell him. And this is what we you, do. You want to watch this? I do all the little things. Look through my playlist. All the different things we've done in the past on the channel. Whether it be magnet fishing, whether it be uh, record player restorations, small engine repairs, lawn mowers, uh, vlogs, stuff. A lot like of family stuff we do. Car restorations, bike restorations. There's a lot more of that sort of stuff coming up in the near future. So if that's what you like, and you like our honesty and what we do throughout the day, Sharon long times before you blink then see you I know I mean, I mean what I'm saying that's what I'm talking to people I'll see you later bye bye for now oh don't you go on you don't stop do you